and welcome back to my channel today as you can see this is the February Upcrate art subscription box um, for those of you that have not seen the previous videos I'll give you a quick rundown but I will pop the link to the website down below so you can go and check the prices find out all the information you need basically um, Upcrate is a monthly art subscription box the company is based in Germany they ship worldwide for free I'm here in the UK, so that's really good for me. Um, we're very sort of thin on the ground for art subscription boxes um, that don't cost the earth over here in the UK. So the fact that this one ships from Germany, which is quite quick to get here, and also free shipping, um, it, it makes it quite good value for money. This is my fourth box. It's their fifth box altogether, or sixth box. I think I missed the first two. Um... I've got mixed feelings about it. It's not overly expensive. On the whole, it's been good value for money. The money has been there. Um, I'm hoping to see something different this month, though. I have to say, um, my first box had got a lot of pencils in. Then the last two boxes have just been full of different types of pens. So much as I love pens and markers, um, I would like to see something different. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that there may be something a little more exciting this time than another box full of pens. Um... That's all I really need to say, to be fair. I, I shall get on with the with the unboxing. Also, I am hoping that there is a replacement pen in here. I did have um, a faulty pen in my box last month. Customer service was very good, very responsive, and they have said that they would send a replacement in my next box. So we will see. If there isn't, obviously, I shall have to get back in touch with them again, but I'll keep my fingers crossed that, that it is there. Um, the box, it, it comes almost as, as a sort of... Um, looks like a treasure chest their symbol is this little pirate guy so let's get on and have a look and see what's inside the box oh well straight away there is my replacement pen so yeah i had um the pen last time it was dried up and it, it didn't work this one looks to be absolutely fine so yeah big thanks to them that they did remember to pop that in there so happy about that so as always everything's wrapped up nicely there will be some bits of paper and stuff underneath here is all the information and i will refer to this once i've sort of um taken everything out of the packet i don't i want it to be a surprise but so I'm not going to read what's on this leaflet just yet. So there's always a few um, bits and pieces. That's all my information. Yep, this is this is box number six. So yeah, my fourth box. There was two previous boxes before I actually took out my subscription. So I'll just pop this to one side. So we have a postcard. There's always a postcard which... Um, has artwork from their featured artist and Fox MB illustration is is their featured artist and it's it, there is quite often this play on their logo of this pirate face so obviously this is like a, their little pirate face done as a fox so that's quite nice this is the upgrade battle um, theme there's, a, there's an online Instagram challenge every month. You can upload an artwork based on the theme to win a prize. I'll take a look at that in a minute. I don't know whether that's going to give away anything about what's in there. We've got some stickers, as always. Um, some stickers. So just a plain little sticker there. And a few vinyl stickers with the artwork on. These I've been just sticking on the cover of a journal. I'm just literally collaging the front of an art journal with these stickers because they're quite nice. Just a little freebie though I feel that they put in and I never attach any value to these. I just, I put these down as just extras. So shan't be including those when I'm adding up the values. And a quick note about that. They don't ever give any prices, I don't think in the information here but i will take a quick look online and flash up um, some prices if i can find them um, as captions as we go through just so we can tot up roughly how much it all is so some little plastic paper clips um the laurel clip made in germany world's first ever asymmetric paper clip 
can hold two sheets together just as effectively as 25. Okay, it's a paper clip. Again, I never, I always class these as a sort of a little freebie. We've had, um, we had some little binder clips last time. We've had novelty wire paper clips. I can't think what else we had. Might have been a novelty eraser or something like that. But just a little something. So I'll move those to one side. So let's, first of all, let's have a look what's underneath the package. Here. So here is the an artwork again from their featured artist this month, Fox MB Illustration. That is absolutely beautiful and that looks quite painterly. So I'm going to be optimistic. Are we going to get some paints in this box? Um, yeah, and as always, a bio Instagram link to the artist. I'm not going to read. All, all that out now I'll read that at my leisure but um that's really really pretty and I yeah I'll keep my fingers crossed that we're gonna have some paint we've got some paper hit some paper cardstock quite heavyweight so I'm gonna say this is about 300 gsm this looks like watercolor cardstock so yeah I'm I'm hoping we've got paints coming and some information about the Van Gogh brand so I'm not going to look at that but yeah, I'm quite optimistic. I'm going to be happy with what we've got inside this box. So let's open up the package. Always nicely packaged. I have to say the fact that it's all contained within the tissue, it's not rattling around in the box, not going to suffer any damages in the mail. Oh, yep, we have paint. I am excited about that. So let's just... just grab those right we have six tubes of Van Gogh watercolor so that is really really nice um, I generally use pans of watercolor I'm not I don't think I've actually got any tubes at the moment so that's really nice to have those I may actually put some in some half pans just so that I can add them to my palette for convenience sake. But that is a lovely colour range, actually. And that is what has been used to create this artwork. So we have um, Pirole Orange, Madder Lake Light, Turquoise Green, Lavender, Naples Yellow Red and Azo Yellow Deep. And I absolutely love those colours. Oh, those those colours there, especially. I'm happy. Okay, I don't really care now what else we get in here. I'm really happy. This is not a box full of pens. We've got some paint. It's quality paint as well. I will say that um, it is a good brand. So what do we have? Yeah, this is literally um, obviously just some promotional information about the range with the whole colour range. Information about light fastness, which is really good, and opacity. So, yeah, I am really, really happy. So to go with the paints, what do we have? Okay, we have a water brush, Milan water brush, medium. Um, yeah, obviously with a refillable barrel. They are a handy thing, um, especially for traveling, really useful. Um, yep, synthetic brush, four millimeter in diameter with a water regulation button. Oh, so it has a button rather than some of them. You have to kind of squeeze the barrel sometimes to get the water out. This has a little button. So hopefully quite a responsive valve in there for allowing the water out. Nice, nice size. I don't particularly, I've got some very tiny ones. I don't particularly like them. They don't last that long. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. And we have a super fine paintbrush here, a Milan 2 slash 0, very fine. That looks really nice actually. Hoping that's a nice quality paintbrush. Um, always good for, for fine detail um, to have a paintbrush, so happy with that. And we have three Kohenor 
Hartmuth Polycolor Pencils. Do they have the colours written on them? Well, that one says Cobalt Dark. These just have a number, but we have a sort of... Um, I'm guessing almost like a raw sienna type colour and, and a a pinkish, a flush sort of pink colour. Um, but they they work well with the paints, um, obviously. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that upgrade. Let's have a look at the information that they give in here. So we have Van Gogh watercolours, transparent paint with intense colours, high degree of light fastness. Um, yeah, little tip, they're very concentrated, don't put too much on the brush. The paper is Van Gogh paper, 100% high quality cellulose, linen free, um, 300 GSM, which is what I thought, pH neutral, fine grain surface, most um, suitable for modern watercolour painting and also suitable for acrylic, gouache, ink, charcoal and pencil. So, yeah, that's nice. The refillable water brush holds 8ml of water, so yeah, good size. Um, suitable for watercolour work with pencils, tablets or ink. Hermetically sealed cap, so making it suitable for transport and pushing the button regulates the flow of liquid. Yeah, and a little tip there, activate the push button slightly at the beginning to get a feeling for the amount of water. Obviously, just tr don't try that out in the middle of your painting. Um, try that out on a scrap of paper. The Synthetic Round Brush, Series 611. See, it says, enjoy this size OO round brush. Well, this is a 2O. There was a typo in the last one, um, the last thing. So whether it is... Yeah, because once again, the photograph is showing a 2.0, so I'm guessing again, just a typo. Short wooden handle. Um, it's a black varnished finish, nickel ferrule, synthetic bristles, suitable for watercolour and water-based techniques. So, yeah, nice little um, brush there. And the Kohenor Polycolor 3800, hexagonal softwood pencils with an oil-based core. It provides colour with excellent light, fastness and water resistance. So quite nice then that you could sketch with these and then use the watercolours over the top and these pencils won't move. Um, so that's quite nice to know. Uh, provides rich colour without the need for heavy pressure. Can be sharpened to a fine point. And the colour range features 72 colours. And then P.S. Did you find our gimmick in your crate? Which I'm guessing are these. Um, I'm guessing that, that that's what their gimmick is, is that these new little clips. So, yep, that's all the information that's on there. I will, as I say, I will have popped up some prices if, I've, if I could find them online, have a quick look online for you. I'm um, really, really happy with that, actually, it's simply because it's not full of pens. And I know a few other people that are going to be happy about that. So let's take a little look at the Upgrade Battle theme. The theme is the love of animals. Um, I don't draw a lot of animals. I draw people quite a lot, um, but we'll see. I might go for something along this line. I have to say, I haven't done... The January challenge. I did the previous two challenges. And I just haven't really had the time for the for the January one. I've got until the twenty fifth of next month to post artwork on Instagram. Um, yeah. So all you have to do is you upload your artwork and you pop this little card next to it, um, and hash use the hashtag. So I will do my best to do that. I will um swatch these out. Um, I will get myself some water and a palette and sort that all out. So just bear with me and I will be back to do that.
very nice the water brush is nice seems to be good control it's keeping um quite a good point obviously there's staining on the bristles these clear bristles do um stain especially with these bright colors but it's it's nice it's quite comfortable um yep quite happy with that obviously we've got this really fine paintbrush as well so let's just uh, try a little paint on on that And yeah, that's it's a nice that's a nice brush to use as well. Yeah, so I'm not going to try all the colours with that paintbrush. I mean, it is what it is. It's a fine paintbrush. We've got our three coloured pencils. Now these they did say um, were an oil based core. So. interesting to see how they lay down on this paper and whether or not we can layer the colours together They certainly don't feel as soft as a Prismacolor. I can sort of feel... Um, I won't... Oiliness isn't really the right, the right word, but they do have a feeling that there is something. They're not a hard, scratchy um, lead. But they do look like, you know, you, you can get certain, you know, certain amount of colour laid down. Obviously, this is a very toothy paper. Um, so we're not going to get a smooth, a smooth finish. But there is, you know, there is some blending going there. So on a smoother paper, I'm sure they will perform reasonably well for what is essentially a, a fairly budget pencil. Um, they're definitely a step up um, from the coloured pencils. I think they were a Staedtler colour pencil that we had in a box a few months ago. Um, but I quite like the selection of colours. It's To be fair, it's quite a useful um, selection. A, a sort of a, a skin tone colour is always quite handy. And then this sort of um, sepia and this blue are both good for shading um so for adding some shadow and depth so yeah i mean i can see why they've perhaps chosen those colors so all in all um happy with the paints seem to be drying um it's weird how this lavender obviously must have some sort of opacity to it which i'm guessing is what this white Mm, it's like I mean, a, the paints are quite drying quite nicely. The yellow one's pretty much dry. This um, turquoise green has got a little bit of colour splitting. There's like a blue settling out slightly. The lavender has almost this um, whiteness, which I'm, I'm guessing might be um, a, something that's been added to give it a little bit of opacity. I mean, it's classed as a semi-opaque, the lavender is. Whereas um, some of the others, let's have a look. This Azo Yellow Deep is also semi-opaque. The Madder Lake Light is a transparent, as is the Naples Yellow Red. And also that um, turquoise green and the pyrrole orange. So these two are a, a semi, 
a semi-opaque and I'm, I'm guessing that's what this um, slight bloom is that's settling out um, just on the top there but I'm, I'm loving the colours actually the colours very very nice and I am happy I have to say having not been disappointed per se with, with the previous boxes but they were becoming a little bit repetitive shall we say there was a lot of pens pens pencils and I'm like oh products is way more than that so the fact that we've got these lovely paints some color pencils that you know coordinate well you can add a little bit extra detail a couple of paint brushes which obviously go go really well with um that selection we've got that nice watercolor card in there um it is a very nice quality card and then the usual you know the bits of bits of artwork um and the stickers that we've got and the little freebie plastic paper clips you know that that's all gimmicky stuff to me that's just filler but as far as products are concerned i'm very happy with that i'm happy that um upgrade whether this was just obviously planned all along or whether they have listened to feedback because I've heard a lot of people saying that they, they wanted to see something a little bit different but that in itself is quite a nice um, capsule collection just to, to go away and create some artwork with you could almost use that as a travel set um, I'm going to pop some of these paints into some empty half pans and add them to my palette just for quick convenience rather than having to use from the tubes but yeah, I'm I'm going to give this one definitely a thumbs up. Very happy. Happy that they remembered to send me my replacement pen. Um, customer service was very good. And I did see um, one other lady in the comments. Um, they'd had an issue um, with something in the last box. And, and their feedback was, was that customer service were very good for them as well. So fingers crossed um, that customer has been sorted this month too. But... That's all for now. This was just a quick um, unboxing video to share with you. Um, I shall see you again soon for my next schedule video. Bye.